Angel's Pizza. Hey, okay, this is Ken Oshine with Texas Nightlife. Let me talk to Lynn Amsterdam, please. Lynn who? Lynn Amsterdam. Hey, look, Gomer. You call here again, I'll rip your heart out, you degenerate mother effer. Hold on just a minute. Bobby, warm up the plane. We're going to do a little Canadian bacon pizza takeout style, Canadian style. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Oh, Ken, come on. It's just a joke. Come on. It was just a gag, man. How are you doing? Oh, we're doing great, Lynn. We were pr- proud to be on your show. I got my partners here, Bobby Hearn. Hey, Bobby. Got my, you know, he's a partner in crime with the Songcast story. We also have our chief engineer and head of IT for Songcast, Mr. Richard Adams. Hey, Rick. And we're all yours, Lynn. What can we do for you today? Ken, let's start it off with you talking a little bit about your band, Texas Nightlife. Well, Texas Nightlife started about, oh, I'd say six years ago. I was working with a fellow by the name of Jim Brown and his brother Dennis. We started the name out actually as Nightlife because it was based on Willie's song. The Nightlife ain't no good life, but it's our life. And later on, we found out Nightlife had been stolen by somebody, so we put Texas on it. And thus, here we are today. Uh, The band is pretty much primarily myself and an engineer we pretty much fired the band because I got tired of the drummer running off of the lead player's wife and the lead player playing the wrong song we were and little things like that we mainly use band tracks now and of course I'm primarily a songwriter and we're working on an album as a listener what makes for a good song well to me I think uh, for as a listener most people are listening for something that's means something in their lives and they want to hear things that are part of their daily lives and things they can relate to and that's what we try to do in our music whether it's the humor side or whether it's our serious side and as I'm sure you've listened to most of my music you know that I'm kind of a warped puppy sometimes. Mad Dog, what kind of music do you find yourself listening to the most? Well neither say I'm primarily country I know Richard, he's a little bit rock and roll. And then we got Bobby Bling Bling over here. He, he doesn't know what he wants to listen to, but he's having a real good time. But we, we're, we actually, we listen to a little bit of everything. The only thing we don't listen to is rap and hip hop because we haven't figured out what that stuff is yet. Well, don't feel bad because uh, you're not the only one. I don't get it either. Oh, what do you do for uh, a living? Currently, we're all working together, building a company, putting it all together, as you're partly aware of at this point. It's a company called songcast.net. We're going to be a huge music hosting site, and we've got a couple of other little endeavors. Uh, Bobby, you want to tell them a few about some of our other endeavors? Too many. Well, we've got nanabed.com. That's our auction site. Uh, we also got, what is it, SPV? SPV. We, we're, we're in the ATV business as well, and shoot, there's not hardly anything we're not into. Richard's working on another thing for an alumni association, just all kinds of stuff, Lynn. But that's what we're doing for a living now. We're working for ourselves. Can you tell me a little bit about your family life? Is there a little missus at home uh, waiting for you after a hard day's work? Oh, uh, what's that? <laughs> I'm divorced. I have been since 2001, of all things valentine's day you talk about a perfect perfect final decree date that was perfect <laughs> have a party every year but no i really don't have much of a family life other than uh, my mom at home uh, I, I live at the house there with her because she's getting on in years she's in her 70s currently just trying to trying to get trying to get a, a business life together before i worry too much about a social life Ken, can you elaborate a little bit more on Songcast.net? I, I've been to this site, and it's going to be smoking. Our goal with Songcast is to be what the others aren't. And, yeah, I'll give you some examples. SoundClick, Audio Street, B-Sonic, Artist Launch. Try to get them to listen to you. That's our number one goal. We're going to listen to our members. Second thing, try to get some support. 24 7 I promise you yeah exactly try 24 hours minimum with SoundClick try never with artist launch that's when they're not up you know that's when they're not 
And they don't have weekends at B-Sonic. They don't believe in that. So you put these things together, we're going to have 24-7 support, reliability. Speed is a big factor with all uh, hosting sites. And that's going to be one of the things we pride ourselves on. So that's what we're offering to everybody that comes to us over at Songcast, is we're going to be the best. That's a great concept, Kent. What do you think about the wonderful wide web? Well, the internet. Well, I personally think the internet is a great medium. A study was done here not too long ago that within the next five years, 80% of people will be getting all their music off the web. And I think it's a great medium, especially for songwriters and singers and entertainers and artists. It allows you to get a lot of exposure you can't get any other way. Try to get your stuff on the radio. Clear Channel laugh at you. You're not with a label? Oh, well. No, they don't play independence. And that's one of the things that I think the web is really good for. What do you think about the arrival of internet television? Well, it was bound to come. I think it's a good thing because it's a competing factor with those cable companies who constantly go up in price. Ken, unfortunately, we've run out of time. I just want to thank you for popping by, and I'd like to offer an apology for that Angels gag. It's uh, not becoming of what we're trying to do here on the show. Anyways, Ken, if you can take us out of here, that would be great. All right. Well, we want to tell you, Lynn, that first of all, I want to find out, uh, Angel, how quick can you get that Canadian bacon pizza down to us? Because Richard's hungry, and I know Bobby is, I'm too. Starving. Otherwise, we're going to have to fire the plane up and get on up there and pick her up. But we want to tell everybody that you're listening to the Lynn Amsterdam Show and the Country Road Show. And we've got a special thing going on with this interview. Lynn is going to be the very first person to air our new song. It's a brand new song that was written by myself and Bobby Hearn. It's called Damn It All. And Lynn, you're going to be the one to premiere it for us, and we thank you. And again, from Texas, Texas Nightlife saying, y'all get her done. This smoke-filled bar is filling up And friends we both knew are coming in They all say how you do it But if they knew the truth They wouldn't ask again Cause they don't know how much I miss you all the nights I sit just wishing you would call Just can't seem to get you off my mind Damn it all So I'll be moving in the same circles Talking to the same folks Going to the same places And telling them same old jokes Moving in the same circles But going nowhere at all Cause I still love you baby Damn it all Take the stage and steal myself And let the music drive away the pain But when they ask me for a sad song It's just like you walk out on me again Seems I just can't win for losing I go home tonight and wait for you to call Cause I just can't seem to get you off my mind Damn it all So I'll be moving in the same circles 
talking to the same folks Going to the same places and telling them same old jokes Moving in the same circles to go and know where it all Cause I still love you baby Damn it all Yeah, I still love you, baby Damn it all